Hi guys, Brent here, and welcome to a different kind of video today. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit closer to my heart, something I feel a little bit more passionate about, that being the alien, the good old the Xenomorph, something that I have spent a lot of time in and have multiple uh, accolades on, that being number four in total tail attacks on, on Steam, number one uh, North America for tail attacks on Steam, and I wrote the guide on the character, so I've been trying to post a little bit more Xenomorph content here on the channel. Um, it's kind of funny that I just have those things going on in the background that are just super focused on the Xenomorph, but, I, but on here, like, sometimes you can't tell so i've been trying to put a little bit more uh out there uh, on this channel having to do with that character in specific uh unfortunately it's a character that's not really played a lot uh the last i checked on nightlight they had like the 11th or 12th place uh, in terms of like least played characters in the game uh which is obviously not good not a very highly played killer and uh, so posting a lot of content about a killer that like not a lot of people play um it just kind of like doesn't make sense but i kind of want to talk about that very thing today uh is that the alien has a huge problem with being understood and i feel like that's a, an issue that makes people not want to play the character or play against them uh, obviously, you can tell this is a little bit more of a rant video today, kind of talking straight out the chest here, because it's something that just frustrates me, and I kind of pop off out about on, a lot on my stream at twitch.tv slash the Mr. Headache. Um, <laughs> but, um, but I don't really talk about it here, so I kind of want to go ahead and talk about it. Before we talk about it, do you know most of you that watch my video are not subscribed? You hit that, you hit that little button down there. It'll help my videos hit the uh, the front page uh, a lot quicker if you do that. So make sure you do that. And also, a like would not be too bad either. But the biggest problem with the alien, honestly, is that they appear easy, but they're not. And this both comes from to play as and against. There's a lot of variables that go into this. I think one of the biggest ones is that the Xenomorph in Qualler mode is constantly zoning because their tail attack windup is 0.4 seconds. It's 0.25 once they initially enter their power for like half a second. Uh, but otherwise, it's 0.4 seconds, uh, which is extremely hard to react to. It is reactable. Uh, there is a sound cue and a visual cue that does come with the wind up before the attack, but it's extremely difficult. Um, it's extremely, extremely difficult. It's one of the harder things to do in the game, and often it comes down to prediction over actually dodging itself. So it, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. It's one of the harder things to do in the game, and especially if you're somebody who doesn't really take DVD that seriously on the survivor end of things. You may not be inclined to to even get that reaction time down at all. It's not accounting for the fact that like Xenomorph can choose to strafe in a lot of areas, which means you have to account for the strafe on top of it. it it's extremely difficult. People do do it to me all the time, uh, but also there's a lot of people that just kind of like, you know, <laughs> take it in the face <laughs> as well um but this creates this idea that like the xenomorph uh either you have to eat a tail attack that's perceived to being unreactable or you're going to eat the m1 so it feels like a lose-lose situation when you're on the survivor side um which feels bad so people just assume the xenomorph is easy on the survivor side which is not true because the xenomorph actually has a very high uh, skill for it. not as high as somebody like like larry um singularity that's my nickname for him <laughs> not as not as difficult as somebody like larry uh but ultimately a very very hard character to learn it's very hard to learn how to deal with turrets appropriately so you're not getting knocked out of your power we'll get to that later <laughs> and it's also hard to get the most out of the tail attack because the the hitbox is kind of deceptive um all this is in the guide by the way the document guide that i posted that i update regularly um I'll try to put that down in the uh, description down below. Uh, don't forget editing brand to put that there, th please and thank you. There's a lot of nuance to the tail attack that makes it extremely difficult. It's very susceptible to collision. Uh, it bonks off collision a lot. There's a lot of shots that you can get that you don't perceive you can get because you can actually thread it up and around objects and do a lot of crazy shots that actually shorten your chases by a lot. But if you don't know that they're there, it seems like you just don't have a lot of options. Learning to get the most out of your tunnels with using your 16 meters of sound and footstep reading to try and track survivors without the need of uh, of any sort of info perks. It's, it's just there's a lot that goes into this character and i think when people hop on xenomorph they go in with like the expectation that like of what the survivors expect which is like oh well you know this character is just a, a zonomorph like he just zones and that's it and then he just wins right but you hop on the character you realize you got to do a lot to succeed consistently with this character and it kind of it hits people in the face it, it's, a, it's like a shock to them but as but playing as them like a lot of people don't like playing as the xenomorph either because uh, mostly because of the flame turrets. I think a lot of people, because the Xenomorph is such a, a popular, uh, strong <laughs> character in their own universe, that they expect it to kind of load up as the Xenomorph and just like like slam the survivors uh, and just weigh into them, or lay into them rather. Uh, but 
in reality you're having to kind of like pause mid chase to like pop turrets before you can continue your chase and i think it makes people feel weak and underwhelming and then i think people in that stubbornness to not want to break the turrets often ignore the turrets and end up losing their power and then you're just a 115 killer with that an m1 and that's it <laughs> which is extremely underwhelming um I think to me, as like a, a longtime fan of the series, I've been a fan of Alien since I was 13. Um, the, the turrets are cool and super immersive because like the, the, the characters in the Alien films are always fighting back with something like the motion tracker, the flamethrower, the pulse rifles, the stuff like that. Um, so I think it, it fits. It's just that it, it would be like trying to play a character like, say, Pyramid Head. And like every time somebody like you're, you got your sword in the ground, you're trying to aim an M2. But like every time you come around a loop with it, you'd have to like pause for like two seconds and then shoot your uh, your um, your M2, which would be like really sluggish feeling. So people feel that as the Xenomorph and they get super frustrated because they essentially have to take care of something first before they have to go uh, after the survivor. Which is kind of like the price you pay for having a, a extremely versatile uh, M2 and the free zoning um, is that you have to like essentially pay a little tax every once in a while of like, okay, you got to stop and break this real quick and then you can keep chasing. But people don't see that as like a fair balancing thing. They, they just think it just like ruins the flow of the character, which I can see to some extent, but also like the world without flame turrets would be just like Xenomorph being like, <laughs> like a top five character in the game. Um, so that's kind of scary. I don't know. I think just in general to not rant like too long and not have like a, 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 a 30 minute video talking about the Z-Morph because I could. I could rant about this character for 30 minutes, but I already did that. And it's almost a 300 page document. So you just look at that if you want to know more. <laughs> but um, I think the main issue that people don't like Alien is because both to play as and against, they just assume things are easier than they are. And when they get into those games, both uh, facing the Xenomorph and playing as the Xenomorph, they actually find out they're in for a rude awakening that both facing the Xenomorph and playing as the Xenomorph has a very high skill floor. And they don't per most people don't perceive Xenomorph as having a high skill floor in terms of counterplay or to play as. So they hop on and, and then they get frustrated because they that that public perception is still out there. I remember Singularity had this issue for quite some time where everybody just kind of like uh, assumed that Singularity was just bad and there was no reason to play him because um, it was just like an M1 killer with extra steps and some perks attached. I believe I said that <laughs> when the character first came out. Like I was just like, this character is really, really exhausting to play because you have all this setup just to uh, apply uh, a bunch of per uh, perks to you. Like, like, ooh, now I have Brutal, neat, cool. I guess, <laughs> you know, um, but people kind of came around after a while that like, once you get really, really good with this character, they're actually really, really good. It's, it's not that they're bad or boring. It's just that they have a really high skill for it. And I hope people do come around to that idea with the Xenomorph that this character isn't bad or frustrating. It's just that they, they it takes a little bit more to be good with them consistently. Um, and that once that idea comes through, he'll have a, a more favorable viewing uh, and public reputation like uh, Singularity does. But currently, there's just not enough people playing Xenomorph to, for that to really matter. Like I said, <laughs> usually they hover around uh, uh, bottom 10, bottom 15 least played characters in the game. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate, but I think that plays a lot uh, into why people don't like playing the Xenomorph. Why do you think people don't like the Xenomorph but playing as and against? Let me know down in the comments down below. But on that, that could be it for today's video, friends. I appreciate you so much, but I will see you tomorrow because I do upload daily. What if I do that? I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.